All right. Let's try that again. F0. Thought it was cats. Dogs and cats. Here, use dog instead of normal meat. Jesus. Meow. Meow. Stray cat and stray dog flavor. Mmm. Mmm. <gasps> it's fire music. Version 1.0.0. It's been like 20, it's been 20 years since we've gotten a new F-Zero game. Your nickname and other play data, such as your ranking, may be visible to others when you play online. You may be matched with computer-controlled opponents. Aww, oh, really? I want to play, I want it to be authentic Battle Royale, not like just a bot field match. That was a stream element sound effect. Oh, so we're going right into it. Welcome, a new challenger. Am I Captain Falcon? If you don't win the first match, I'm not resubbing. <gasps> Damn, we're already like halfway through September. Let's learn some basics before your first F099 race with players from around the world. Okay. D pad steers, A boost, B accelerate. R slide right, slide left. We'll start with lap one. Focus on your steering. Yeah, okay. Put the chat in the corner. Why is it turning? Why is it? Oh my god, my control is messing up. Look. Steering right on it. Good start. Good start. Good start. It's this. Bro. I gotta reconnect. <sighs> so hot. Oh my god. What's up, Blue? It is. This evening has been kind of hot. I apologize for the technical difficulties. I don't know why this controller does this sometimes. It drifts because of like the connection. I don't know what it is celebrating September 15th in Mexico being Mexican. 15 de septiembre, amigo. How could you not know? Whoa, 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 whoa. what's the holiday? Please don't be drifting. <laughs> Bro, okay, let's try this again. Mexican Independence. Yeah, it's Mexican Independence Day. I'm whitewashed and I knew that. Are you sure? Are you sure, Jar Jar? Are you just making that up? Please don't be drifting. Okay. Song goes hard. Now try using boost to get a burst of speed on demand. Press A while acceler while accelerator. Press A while B accelerating to activate a boost. Keep in mind that boost drains your power. If you run out of power, you'll be in danger of crashing out. No proof. I only know people, I only know that the next day there will be accidents due to drunk people, jeez. Check Discord. Use your boot.
Flat Earth Bearer is an opponent's drained power. But you can recharge power in the pit area. Try avoiding po opponents and complete lap 3. Move it, bots. I'm smoking. Collect super sparks dropped by gold bumpers and from collisions between machines to fill your super meter. Press A when your super meter is charged to fly on the skyway. Oh, interesting. Try to earn a super boost on this final lap. Good luck. Prof? Accidents of people getting their heads, you know. Average day in the north of Mexico. is enough Mexico for me. Mexico Independence Day. That's the 16th though, not the 15th. <laughs> is Mexican Independence Day like the first question? Is it 15 or 16? Mexican Independence Day. And look at this search. <laughs> Mexico Independence Day judge our smells. <laughs> that was key. You got my screen, my stream cropped off at the bottom right there. I love it. No, no, no. Let me get. Give me your gold shit. Yeah. Why does my control feel delayed now? It was pretty hard, actually. Just came out, and Jordy's already sweating. <laughs> You're ready to face some competition. Let's see you take on a 25 pilot race. Poo time music. Poo poo time. For seven finish a twenty five pilot race. Oh, you can play with a single Joy Con, that's cool. You can play with the Super Nintendo control, I love that. I love there's there's support for the Super Nintendo control, that's sick. the robot commentator oh we're actually going up against real players the falcon I do think F-Zero X though has the best music you must win easy dub watch easy dub
you. Risk a hit in there are more bones on the track. Here are a few tips to improve your piloting. Oh, is it these bots? Like a to avoid slipping around sharp turns. Best here to spin attack and knock opponents away. Oh, I guess these are bots. Made it. Uh. Oh no! That was bad. Move. Move. Fuck off. That sharp turn is annoying. Did I lap these people? Oh shit, someone died. Let's go. Boost, go, ah. ah. Fangirl doesn't need your sub, I need your sub. Some fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. Only sub to winners. How do I continue? Okay, there we go. Good work. You're ready to move to 50 pilots race. I just want to race with 99 people. I got 99 racers. But a sub ain't one. Hang on, chat. Let me just adjust this really quick. Bars. Complete each line above the safe rank to avoid getting ranked out. Okay. B. 
Big Blue. Big old blue. Hey, it's you, Blue. But big. Starting now, you have to finish within this safe rank of each lap. To continue, try to finish in the top 35 of the fourth lap. Charger, you get Mortal Kombat, or it comes out tomorrow, right? It looks really good. I was watching a last night. I was watching a channel I follow play it. And I'm like, man, the campaigns are good in those. Anyone in the chat getting the new Mortal Kombat? I'm, I'm tempted to get it now. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <sighs> 10,000 bits to Ukraine if you win. Oh uh, yeah, Ukraine needs them. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I lost. <laughs> In that case, I wish I lost harder. And big, big ol' blue. I know. I didn't lose, I just didn't get first. <laughs> you should make that be that your blue command. Just a bunch of blue, em uh, blue squares. Well done, your last show will be 99 pilot race. Alright, I gotta go through these bot races and then I can actually race for real. Rivals are selected from pilots closest to your skill rating. Oh, I didn't read all that. Maybe I need to try a different ship. This one got the grip. The grippy. There you go. <laughs> That's gonna get that shit's gonna get spammed. Is that the max amount of characters? Holy shit. Look how much look how much space it takes up. So now we're racing its rival pilots of similar skill rating. It's not the max, damn. If you finish with a higher rank than rivals, your skill rating will increase. Oh, this is big. This is a big course.
go, let's go. Did my Discord ever put out my live notification? Yeah, looks like it did. Wow, rude. My ship didn't even save. Picked a different ship. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> I died. Bruh, no. I risked it for the biscuit and it did not pay off. It's alright. Holy crap, it's wide. It kind of makes me want to play Fall Guys a little bit. First place, bitches! <laughs> Out of my way. Fuck, come on. No, 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 I didn't mean to boost. Mm. Mm. First, bitches. Look at that. Look at that. I got first. Not in the 25 player race. Not in the 50 player race. I got first in the 99 player race. I might be the best F099 player in history. Day one winner. It came out today. Nintendo just dropped it today, so it hasn't even been out a full day yet. Yeah, he's asking if Fall Guys has crossplay. It does, yes. What's up, by the way, Yowie? 
Yeah, thank you for repeating that, because I think Blue buried your chat in fucking emotes. But yes, Fall Dudes is crossplay. And it, it's on, like, everything except mobile, but it's on Nintendo as well. Although it plays like ass on Nintendo. Oh, Fall Guys. You made a red command? Red. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> like it takes up the entire screen. <laughs> Jeez. We got police. This is under the police. You'll receive tickets based on how well you do in each RAS. Collect enough tickets, ticket points and you can earn tickets which allow you to enter Grand Prix and Mini Prix pre-events. Training complete. Congrats, you're now ready to race online. New tracks and race points are also available. The Grand Prix is where 99 pilots take on a series of 5 races, score points in the Grand Prix Try to make it on the weekly leaderboard. You'll need three tickets to participate in the Grand Prix. Let's get you started with a ticket right now to get on your way. Look how old the art looks. Skin that Play Plus gives you. Uh, on Fall Guys, you're saying? Are you, are you talking about PlayStation Plus? There's a skin you get in, on PlayStation? After you get into college, I'm gonna get my PC and ooh, buddy, it's gonna be a good time. Nice. Very nice. Going for the full PC gaming experience. Oh, I kinda want one too. Might be such a hassle. Yeah, there are, there is some hassle with it. I do like the simplicity of console gaming. Grand Prix weekend. This weekend, Grand Prix events will be available every thirty minutes. Pack up Prix tickets, pre tickets, and then take advantage of this chance to power your way up the leaderboard. Interesting. Workshop. Use the workshop to customize your machines or pilot cards and view records. One more customer. Lock them by completing challenges. Look, Captain Falcon. Vroom. When I get it, I'm a downgrade the one to be on the fuck one is loving. You know, that was my Is it really that bad though? Because I was of the same mindset too, but I've been using Windows 11 for roughly a year now. And I've pretty much adjusted to it. I got a really expensive gaming laptop in December of 2021, a Lenovo. Specked out one piece of laptop. It was Windows 11. I did not like it. I wanted to downgrade it. It came that way. I would end up returning the laptop, not because of Windows, although I wasn't happy with Windows 11 at the time, but because it was just so expensive. And I was like, you know what? I don't need this expense right now. And then September of last year, I got a Lenovo gaming laptop on a sale and it's the laptop that's powering the stream you're watching right now anyway I've pretty much I've pretty much adapted to Windows 11 and I feel like okay I'm, Windows 11 is the newer one that you know for a fact will be supported all the new hardware is gonna have it and so I feel like you're better off just getting used to that but I get that like when you've spent years acclimating to a certain type of windows it's hard to move on especially when 11 um when it seems like new ones do things worse 
But let me ask you, like, what exactly do you not like about Windows 11? I don't know, my PC barely opens Chrome. <laughs> Chrome is just a ram hog. Well, I gotta say, my, my M1 Max MacBook handles Chrome pretty good. I have Chrome open center in front of me with probably like how many tabs I got open? I have a lot of tabs open. Probably like 30 or something. If I, It's like if I did this on my Windows laptop, I feel like it would be coming to a screeching halt. Whereas I have like maybe 10 tabs open on the Windows laptop right now. But does it not play like how so? Because of a DirectX thing? on the desktop screen well yeah that that it okay i i have experienced that i know what you're talking about with and i'm not trying to defend windows here because it is annoying for older machines that you know shipped with windows 10 on it that weren't really built for windows 11 but then microsoft keeps shoving in your face like oh you can update you can run windows 11 it's like you can but should you because all the machines like Working with computers, or tell people, hey, don't update them, and then they update them anyway, they run like fucking ass. I I have confidence. I I haven't I have no complaints about Windows 11 on the powerful Windows machines that I've received with Windows 11 pre-installed on it. However, any machine that's a couple years old now at this point that has been Windows 10, I would recommend just keeping Windows 10 on that as it is. But just, you know, getting new computers, it's, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to buy a new Windows machine today and have it not have Windows 11 on it. Like, it's going to have Windows 11 on it. And I'm saying with that, yeah, you can downgrade it. My brother did that with his, and that's what he's doing. But I guess it depends. It's like, for me, it wasn't worth the hassle. I'm like, all right, you know, I'll just learn Windows 11 and... It's just, it's mostly the same. It's just the look of it is different. But functionally, it's like pretty much the same still. It slows so bad. Yeah, that's not good. Play Fortnite at 10 FPS in Windows. Solution, don't get a busy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would love to. Are you, you gonna, um, are you gonna like put it together yourself on a website? That's what I want to do, ideally. And I've said this a lot before, but I feel like that... I feel like streamers, like all the big streamers, they, they should stream off PC. And uh, many of them, they both play the game and stream it off of the same PC. They don't have a separate streaming PC like I do with where the consoles are the games and then this, the PC is what I'm streaming from. Because uh, it seems like a lot of modern GPUs can handle both running a game and streaming at the same time. I need a PC controller is making me crazy. You need it, Yowie? Oh, Yowie, you were asking me about um, Call of Duty, right? Because it's on. there's a Call of Duty sale going on right now, 20-year Call of Duty sale. It's half on Xbox, it's half its price. Because I, we I think you and I were talking about that. I was saying, I was literally saying that time, don't buy it, it'll probably go on sale, and boom. Modern Warfare 2, the new one, is half off right now. This zim inside my ass. <laughs> Skill issue. Seems easier on your PC that way, though. I'm sorry, what seems easier on PC? In what way? Alright, let's get a race in. Let's just go right into... 99. You get MW3. Because you, you're playing on a um, a PS5, right? Oh shit, look at this guy's a real game, a real lobby. Deathwind. Let's vote that one. Games on console, stream through PC. Yeah. Because for me, that was like, you can, a lot of these consoles you can stream directly from, but I feel like it's so limiting. But it's a way to get started. But I, I do, I like the idea, I like having separate hardware. I like that I'm not taking away from 
my console to stream from it. Plus, I feel like, generally, games, you get a more stable and optimized experience for consoles. Because the consoles are very limited SKUs. Like, there's only one Series X, there's only one Series S, there's only one PS5. Whereas, PC, you can have a PC that's thousands of dollars, and then you buy the new game, and, oh, it turns out your game doesn't run because your specific configuration of PC just for whatever reason wasn't tested in this game and it actually just always crashes and shit like that so I'm this is a clusterfuck by the way <laughs> what the hell is going on I want to go on the sky bridge let me on thank you You knock people off this? It's so crowded, bro. With actual players. How do you stay alive? Bro, what? This wind is annoying as hell. Stop. I wish I got 69th place. <sighs> okay. There's a streamer I watch that has a PC strictly for streaming and another PC for lay gaming. Yeah, and that's that's pretty common. And that was my idea too, was okay, have a PC strictly for streaming. There's no game. I mean, there are some games installed on it, and then and then mainly because I I know consoles better. It's like and then I'll just game off the consoles. And that was my idea too. Is okay eventually just. I get a gaming PC and then I can it's a little it's kind of a hassle um but like yeah streaming PC from this PC I don't know what I'm saying right now pesos not dollars I could have built a PC with the 30k spent on the PS5 monitor pesos <laughs> it's like 30k <clears throat> you could have I mean yeah you've got the monitor already But, but, I, the way I saw it was like, okay, 500 US dollars, like, I have an established library. I have, like, I'll, like, I know I can work an Xbox really well, and, like, if there's problems, I know it, the ins and outs. At least, like, on PC, it's like, you set up, and it's like, oh, your drivers are outdated, oh, like, this game, oh, you gotta, like, you gotta do all this, like, and again, I say that, that's like, it, it, it's a double-edged sword with PC gaming. On one hand, you have a, if there's like an old PC game, 20 plus years old, chances are, like, you can get it to work. Maybe they're not, it's not as straightforward, but like, you can do that. You can do emulation on a PC, which is really cool. <clears throat> um, but again, I, I feel like y you get the technical options which can be fun for optimizing game and getting what you want if you like tweaking with that stuff, which is, it is fun to do. But yeah, on the other hand too, you get more headaches. You deal with more complications when you're just trying to play a game. And a console, it's just like, it's just a box you power on and it plays games. It's like a box meant for just playing games. <clears throat> 
Or why not just, you know, just have it all best of all worlds, really. But I do like... Easy money. Sell special plants. <laughs> and, and booger sugar. The cocaina. Guys, I'm waking up early to pre-order the iPhone, the new iPhone, so I can support Daddy Apple. New pilot card backdrop. Deathwind. That map sucked. Oh my god. Grand Prix Night League. Test your metal in the Ultimate 5 Race Series. Timer. Alright, sure. Can we use your. Oh, did I just use my tickets? Oh shit. It's gonna get sweaty, guys. Are we ready? Are we ready? I thought you already pre ordered. No, you. I pre ordered the Apple Watch Ultra 2. The iPhone pre orders go live at 5. I was going to do it through Verizon, I'm going to just do it directly through Apple, like I did the 2020 iPhone. It begins at 5 Pacific Time, which is 8 a.m. Eastern Time. But, there's things I need to take care of. Plus, I got to be, I got boxing training tomorrow in the morning as well. So, yeah, I got shit I need to do. Alright, chat, I'm going to be zoned in on this. Because I guess this is important because I just it cost me a consumable item to enter this race. Jesus, look at this! There's so many! Dude! Out of my way! Out of my way! I want to take a screenshot, but I don't want to take my hand off the controller. Oh, <laughs> I'm spinning my way through! Let's go, let's go! This map's my specialty, yo. Jesus. No, no, no. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. Oh, I killed someone. Holy shit. I just took someone's life. No, I didn't. Dude, I didn't want to use that. I wish... Can't that be another button? Bro. Well, that's a shame. I'm fucked. Okay. Top 50, though? Yeah, top 50, okay. Better than the last one. Today they expelled a colleague because they found that in his backpack. Uh oh. They found drugs? Cocaina? What are the ranks in this game you need to, to reach top 500 now? I, I don't know. What's up, filthy thug? What's up, apples? Juice boxes? Feel funny, thuggity. Greetings. Oh, it's not over. Five races of this. It's 
It's down to 80 now. It's a good song. Top 70, we gotta get top 70. <laughs> New save, top 65. Bro. Okay. Bro, can we chill, 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 chill? Oh my god, I was so close to getting eliminated there. Keep missing the boosters, bro. Okay. Hey, okay. Top 50 again. Free update coming to RE4. Gotta finish issue. Wait. Update? They put Wesker in missionary. <laughs> you mean mercenaries? <laughs> um. Isn't he already in Mercenaries? What's... Damn, there's an RE4... Are they adding separate ways to RE4? I thought Wesker was already in Mercenaries mode. That's what you're talking about, right, Thug? Mercenary mode? People modded him in. Missionary. <laughs> Wesker missionary style? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this whole time, I haven't touched Mercenary because I want to beat the game before I do that. I thought Homeboy was in it. So who do you, who can you play as in Mercenaries? New safe is top 50. Wait. There's 49 racers in here. So everyone's gonna get top 50 no matter what. I don't get it. Oh my god! Dude. This shit maybe come to a complete stop. Chill, chill. Will chill. I just killed another person. It's Rocket League up in here.
the guy's name is Pizzagate. Bro, the guy's name is Pizzagate. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. Top 25. We're getting better, guys. We're getting up there. Adding an Ada side story and adding both Ada and Wesker to missionary mo Okay, so... The separate ways story, then. Is there a trailer for that that came out today, Jar Jar? I think they only have Leon Krauser and Hunk. I'm not sure who else. Carlos. Oh. Or Luis. It's Luis, isn't he? There's 50 active online race. Goes up to him. Yeah, so it started as 99. It's a battle royale. And it's every race they're whittling down. And I think when people die, I think they're out. I was like killing players like unintentionally. Yeah, this is new. This just came out today. I gotta see this Resident Evil stuff. Is it? It's the original F Zero, turned into a battle royale. It's pretty sick. This is the game Captain Falcon's from. Falcon Punch. This wind is hella annoying. the other way now, dude. Whoa. I'm about to die. Get away from me. Please get away from me. something that's something chill 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 dude where's the power recharge I need it <laughs> everyone's dying look at this Get me in there! Get me in there! Come on, come on! Hmm. just spectating now let's see dead Alu Azer <laughs> uh, I guess I should end it here as a fucking loser spectate leader Thomas that's Hydri Kenny look at these graphics Where's this Resident Evil thing, though? That's what I want to see. Yeah, 
Yeah. Does it spoil the end, though? I mean, I know how the game's gonna end, but I still haven't seen, like, the, the remake ending before I watch it. I missed this. All right. And it's it's a free update, right? Several ways to reveal trailer about freaking time. So this was like a PlayStation thing. Four DLC separate ways. Watch it on the official PS4 PlayStation channel. Yeah, oh hype. About time they put this here. No fucking way. <laughs> That's cool. Dual wield. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? That looks like a fun VR game. Uh, foreign VR. Wesker. Or are you just trying to use me again? Because in this world, someone always pays. There's someone who needs me. Best not to ask who or why. It's what I researched for all these years, Ada. And I see the symptoms already showing in your eyes. Oh shit, she's infected too? September 21st. Oh, I got to get on that. Free update. Dude. Okay. I got to I got to wrap this up. So, Ada and Wesker are coming to mercenaries mode and whereas they previously were not available, right? Damn, that looks cool. It's good I'm like I should have beaten it by now, but I'm glad I'm like playing it again. Like I know I'm now I'm more, more motivated than ever to just knock this game out, have fun with some mercenaries, and then kind of on my plate right now, I'm thinking Mortal Kombat. I want I like Mortal Kombat. I don't know. It it'd be fun if like the whole chat is playing it. It'd be fun to have some like some like sessions where like we're all hanging out and playing Mortal Kombat together. You know. And also to watch the to the campaign. I tried RE7 in VR. The beginning of the game scared the jizz out of you. I haven't played... Oh, 7. 7 was good. 7 was kind of scary. I thought you were talking about Village. I haven't played that one yet. Yeah. And then they did in whole, a whole Oculus. Like a recreation in the Unreal Engine. Um, some other studio. It wasn't Capcom. Even, it's a Capcom property but some other studio did like a re4 um it's weird but they did a vr re4 but separate from the 2023 remake <sighs> you getting it oh should i thug I, it, jar i think jar jar is getting it i'm tempted to get it man it looks cool it looks cool and yeah i may just have to get it 
I got a day she tis fun vector man yo it's so funny we were just talking about VR Justin we're watching the uh, trailer for Resident Evil 4 getting a uh, VR <clears throat> look at these look at these the remake this is a great game by the way it's cool seeing it in VR no fucking way I haven't even played VS Village. I haven't played Village yet at all either. Don't get careless. Copy. It sounds like a weird flex, but I feel like I'd be better pairing on VR. And who will pay Stark cost? Like weird oh reflexes. If that makes sense. Fetch me the amber. Yeah. Have you changed? But man, there there is just some crazy motion sickness. I was playing it with, well, Vector Man. I know him in person. I was playing his VR. And, dude, it was Gran Turismo. <laughs> I was going to throw up when he sat me down for Gran Turismo, which I thought I would be more situated there. But, like, oh, man. I, I don't have my VR legs yet. It was fun. It was cool. Pavlov was the most interesting one, I thought. Because the guns, the, like, you know, reloading it, cocking it. You can like look down the barrel of the gun and shoot yourself and you die. <laughs> Play Village first versus Arthur person now, I think. Yeah, Village got a third person update. I still like four and five way more than seven, and I know it's eight village. 8 slash village is like a continuation of 7. 7 wasn't a bad game, but uh, I, don't, I really, really like 4 and 5 of the Resident Evil games. <clears throat> Someone had a knife only the VR version. RE4. <laughs> VR knife only. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this? Justin Timberlake looks terrible. Reptile. Weird. <sighs> Pavlov PC players is nuts. Yeah, that's cool. Different VR platforms being able to cross play with each other. That's the future, man. The future. So that's what was today. Today was a PlayStation state of play. That's what it is. Or was. And then Nintendo did something today, too. That's what I was getting news from, was Nintendo's uh, Direct. That's how I heard about this. F-099. Tickled my balls, so I was happy. Nothing like a good ball tickling. To tickle your fancy, you know? Nothing a good ball tickling won't fix. <clears throat> Switch 2. Yeah. And I, they're thinking 2024. I think that's likely. 
and then uh yeah i'm I'm interested in that and how that will play out but you know as is like with nintendo platforms i think once there is like the next super smash bros they're like all right this is the next smash bros it's only going to be on the newest nintendo hardware that's usually what spurs me to go get the new nintendo hardware i hope i really hope but i think in this day and age i think they're going to be good about that like full backwards compatibility like this whole they're setting they're definitely setting up i can i'll bet you money that all this stuff the nintendo switch online like emulation this will probably this will definitely in fact carry over the question now is is will switch hardware like will cartridges still work will these work I think the consumer friendly thing would be yes. Um, I think, yeah, Nintendo should be doing that. But again, nothing is confirmed yet. But that, that that's a big selling point, too. It's like, okay, if we just transition to the next Nintendo, assuming it's going to be a hybrid of console, home console, and portable console. But, uh,. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I think yeah, Nintendo's needs. This was a 2017. I think they're they're about due for a revision uh, from the hardware perspective. Heard it ran Breath of the Wild 4K 60 60 load times too. <clears throat> I heard that too. And then they were saying that the uh, that Matrix Awakening tech demo that came out when the when the Matrix movie came out. It was terrible, by the way. I saw it was fucking awful. That, that actually upset me. But I wasn't surprised, because the only good Matrix movie is the first one. Um, But yeah, apparently that tech demo was running on the Nintendo hardware as well, and it was shown behind closed doors. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Here's the thing. I don't think... I think um, the dock, the hardware, I'm sure it will put output a 4K signal the same way, you know, a PS4 Pro can output a 4K signal, like an Xbox One X can output a 4K signal. Will the games be running at a native 4K? Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. I mean, even the top of the end first party games from PS5 and xbox on series x even many of those games um many do many do run at a native 4k but also many don't they're doing like some sort of checkerboarding variable refresh rate type thing um where they're they're not like yes if you hit the setting on your tv like it's you you'll see it's a 4k signal but uh and i know this from like watching a lot of digital foundry i think it's very fascinating many of these games aren't running at like a real native 4k and so like i don't think whatever the nintendo hardware is if they're going to make it affordable um you know they're never really quite matching one to one with like what playstation and xbox are doing so i doubt it's yeah there's going to be some upscaling type stuff going on there like i don't think we're going to be seeing games run native 4k on the nintendo hardware but that's not really what they're trying to do anyway I remember when they released a Matrix game for the GameCube and the older consoles, and they didn't even have Neo as a playing character. Yes, dude. I know. It was like, what was it called? It was like Enter the Matrix. You just played as like the boring side characters that are in the they're in the movie for like five minutes. Probably 1440 upscaled, yeah. I think that would make sense, you know, a, a 2K 1440 resolution because a lot of games, you know, like, smash bros it's a first party title like this is running at 1080 like a native 1080 60 um i think mario kart as well is like an actual native 1080p 60 <clears throat> but yeah the, the switch docks they they don't even even the new oled ones which the docks the hardware of the docks are the exact same it's just the oled on the, the screen is what's upgraded uh, yeah, none of these dogs do a resolution higher than 1080. Which, you know, kids, when it's, the demographic is kids, they don't really, 
They can't tell anyway. They don't give a shit about that. See, look, you get these are the. Oh my god. I can do 480. What, let's see what happens if I put this to 480. Damn, that's ugly. I can notice it. I don't know if you guys notice it, but it looks bad here. What would you say the new Switch needs or should improve upon? I think the big thing is just hardware. Um, you know, they're, they're doing, it's supposed to be NVIDIA hardware. They have like an, a, an agreement with NVIDIA. So it's running um, some mobile sort of GPUs from NVIDIA. I think they need to be big on backwards compatibility. Like winning formula of it being um, a hybrid machine. I think it should be able to work with these like to be able to use these still, I think would be the right call. Because if they start to introduce a whole new control, like it has the buttons, like there doesn't need, it has all the buttons you find on a modern control. Um, like these two together, I'm saying. Like, you know, you all the buttons, the, the two shoulder, like two triggers, two shoulder buttons, the analog sticks click, a D-pad option, four face buttons, a start, a select, like, you Nintendo caught on with that with this and I think they need to hold on to this probably improve the durability because these drift like a mofo these drift really bad they oh shoot I just took the whole switch out of the dock I didn't mean to do that um anyway I think that would be a big thing if they kind of took a page out of Xbox's playbook and really made the the accessories backwards and forwards compatible i think the the big and then made the software backwards compatible the big thing is just they need to um just have beefier hardware really beefier hardware because you if they want to keep up with games getting ports which they are like the games coming out on the newest xboxes the newest x and playstations if they want to even get ports of those games, like the ports are getting more and more compromised to run on Switch to a point where, like, um, you know, call it, you don't call it Wii U had Call of Duty games. The Switch never got a Call of Duty game, and I think that would be a huge market. There's such a huge market there for Call of Duty on Switch, and that's supposed to be happening now. But I think also with the Microsoft buyout, but I think also by the time that finalizes, they're banking on new Nintendo hardware being out that can run Call of Duty. No Stricted Food would be nice. Yeah, No Stricted Food would be nice, but that's a pipe dream. I never hopped on this Nintendo. I never hopped on this Nintendo. Let me watch porn on my family friendly <laughs> Nintendo Switch. It's funny there's no web browser anymore. Xbox is amazing for the consumers. Like, every console can play those games. It's coming to Switch. What was there? What? Has that even happened yet? When is that happening? Because I'm curious about that as well. Hogwarts Legacy. Did that shit get canceled? You know, a, a new game coming out soon. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1 is getting a Switch version. And apparently the Switch version launches at the same time as all the, the pc and console versions i was looking i was trying to find footage no footage of it online exists yet but i'm like i'm really curious about that i'm like okay like it's supposed to be cross play that's cool but how does it look like what are the compromises like it probably is going to look so muddy just so, it's probably going to be running at such a low resolution especially if they're going to keep that frame rate which in a fighting game, you kind of have to. You can't have, like, if it's a fighting game, like, the frames are so important. So they're going to have to do whatever they have to do to make sure that runs at 60 on on Switch. Um, initial release date, February. Hogwarts over 100. Wait, what? Crossplay won't be available at launch in Mortal Kombat? Are you serious? Damn, that's just, that's actually pretty disappointing. 
hopefully is there any time frame on that when they're going to get that out Hogwarts Legacy. They tweeted about it. Bruh. That's disappointing. That's why I don't agree with pre orders for real. Yeah, I'm not big on pre orders either. Like, I'm thinking of getting Mortal Kombat, but I, I haven't pre-ordered it. Another one who's just confirmed Mortal Kombat 1 Crossway will not be present at launch, but will support this much regular feature soon. Can PC. But the question is, it'll be full cross-play for Mortal Kombat, right? Like, that'll mean PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo will all cross-play together? Because that would be really cool. Nice, nice. How did they fuck that up, though? That's kind of... I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on that. That is such a expected feature. I'm not sure it should be standard by now. It really should be. It really should be. There's really, there's really no excuse at this point. Like, that, that should be... To me, that's just the multiplayer is not fully functional then if it's not cross play at the start but you know it's not the end of the world like i don't even i don't even know if i'm going to buy it at launch i really want to play it myself but then i was really getting sucked into a, a twitch stream last night someone i was i'm i follow and he was getting into the store and i'm like man this I, like this the campaigns are really good in Mortal Kombat. The way they blend the cinematics, like oh it's a cinematic, and then oh they're about to fight, and then it just seamlessly the camera kind of shifts to the side, and then it's like it's a fight. Like it does that really well, and I feel like by the time you beat a campaign or a story in Mortal Kombat, you're you're kind of good at the game. Like it's a good introduction to the game as well, because now it's like oh, you know just through telling the story you're playing as a lot of different characters so by the end of the game you've like okay i i've i have a basic understanding of all these characters so i know how to play as them i know how to play against them and and you're like thoroughly entertained too with with a, like a cheesy usually the stories are a bit like cheesy and gory like you can tell it never takes itself too seriously and i think that's that's part of the charm of that and seeing that makes me want to get a I'm gonna go for ultimate for like I just bought MK. That's funny, dude. I bought it as well. I got it on sale like a year ago, and then I didn't really play it much. MK. Actually, I don't know if I got ultimate. I because ultimate has all the DLC characters, right? Like Rambo and Terminator. I think I got the basic edition. But you know what really turned me off from Eleven, and X did as well with this was, like, you pick a character, and then it's like. Oh, here's three variants of that character, and they all have different move sets. Like, uh, I didn't like that. I I didn't like that. And then apparently, there's like you can customize like equipment on them, and the equipment actually affects the moves and the stats of the character. Like, it's not purely cosmetic. I've I heard MK11 was like that too, which that as well. I'm like, okay, that has no place in a fighting game where there's like equipment and it's like unlocked through loot boxes and if someone rng'd a piece of armor their scorpion is stronger than my scorpion like i don't want any of that nonsense in a fighting game like it just should just be a pure character it should just be skill alone like you should be able to pick up a controller at anyone's place and if you're good with the character you're good with the character not a whole like oh like this character's a higher level and has more equipment than this character they don't have that anymore. So, Jarja, they got rid of that for the new Mortal Kombat, then, you're saying? Yeah, let's be honest. I'd rather key characters like Sector, Cyrax, Words, Kenshi, and Bo Raichi. Ah, man, I don't know. But does, does everyone know the full roster for Mortal Kombat 1? Because there's, like, I don't know. They're new characters. It seems like it's all classic characters in the in the new release, which I'm okay with that equipment stuff 
was just for tower stuff, didn't affect online. Okay, because someone I um someone I worked with was telling me that. Like, oh, that's a whole online thing. And he was telling me it like that was something he liked about the game, and I'm just like, what the hell is wrong with you? That sounds awful. Like <laughs> that sounds like an awful fighting game for multiplayer. To me, the business model of pay to win structure and having to purchase additional characters used to be able to unlock everybody by playing. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think we've talked about this before. The most egregious of the whole paid thing was Street Fighter Cross Tekken, where the game shipped on disc. All Like, half the roster was locked behind a paywall for a release later on. And people would just, like... People were just data mining the CDs, the disc, and seeing, like, oh, like, half the roster is locked away on the disc... You, you bought the game, the characters are there, they're completed, but you have to basically pay, they're, they're locked behind a paywall, and you have to spend, like, money to get access to them. Like, that that puts a bad taste in my mouth. But speaking of DLC characters, <laughs> I do, like, Peacemaker and uh, Homelander are going to be in the new Mortal Kombat. That's going to be really interesting to see. Anybody has like 36 characters, a new one should be at least 40. Oh, gotcha. 23 characters so far. Okay. Yo, I just finished The Boys. It was amazing. I gotta finish it, man. I kind of... I watched season one and two. I gotta see season three. Because it's getting a spinoff show, isn't it? Look at this. They already got all cutscenes. So, in total, it's about four and a half hours of cutscenes. Story, gameplay. All cutscenes. Oh, you know, these channels are getting raking in the views. Like, you can just sit down and watch it. It's a full movie. But it's like, I'd rather, I think I'd rather play through it. Okay, so Striker, that's the police character. That's Striker, but he's only like a cameo character. Like you don't get to play as him. He just like will pop in on the side and shoot his gun and disappear. Good night, fellas. All right, good night, Blue. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to be ending the stream very pretty. Oh, shit. We've been going on. I got to end the stream too. All right, Blue. Thanks for hanging out. Story is connected to MK11, so don't know if you, mu if you might want to watch that. Yeah, I I'm aware of that. Because it basically, Liu Kang, like, ends, um, he, like, resets the universe, right? And that's the whole plot device for them to reboot it again. Night Jar Blue. Is it 2v2 now? I'm not entirely sure, Justin. Kind of, I guess? Ah. <sighs> I don't know. Flawless victory. Flawless victory. <laughs> oh my god. One of you want to assist characters. Can you do a tag team mode though? If you want to do like actual 2v2? Cameos with a K. Gyrus wins. Is he new? I don't know him.
<laughs> I like the Jean-Claude Van Damme skin for Johnny Cage too. Yeah, here it is. Jean-Claude. Talk about talent. Meet Hollywood's newest star. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. Flawless victory. Oh God. Oh. Oh, there's nuts first. <laughs> Didn't we play this on the Vita, Thug? I feel like we all had this on the Vita. Oh, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Just into nothing. <laughs> it's so good. <sighs> if we all had it, you know, we would all have a lot of fun playing this. Hopefully, crossplay. Damn, this makes me want to get it. But yeah, let's not spo let's not spoil any more uh, any more of these. Gonna end it here, guys. Anyone lurking? Mm. Laters, bruh. Alright, guys. I'll catch y'all later. It was fun. Thank you for hanging out. If you have if you're watching or you're lurking and you haven't followed, follow your boy. And join the Discord. <clears throat> A lot of character development going on right now. A lot of character development. What do you mean? For you? I'm be getting some character development in the morning tomorrow. As I pay someone to uh punch my face. But yeah, bro. You know, it's it's the concept of I learned this recently, a guy listening on YouTube. It's uh things are fragile, can break easily. But the term anti fragility is the opposite of like when something is comes into contact with something that can break it it actually makes that thing stronger and i feel like that's kind of an interesting concept to embody like you know as a man too like oh shit like like dealing through hardship uh you know shit that's just tough that's traumatizing and it's kind of like i don't know on one hand if you look at it from a perspective of being grateful for it you're like this is making me stronger as a person and uh yeah and you know people have different ways of interpreting that is character development gonna go boxing yes yes having the real first session tomorrow i thursday night i i was throwing some punches on the bags but then i got a meeting with the uh with the trainer on friday so i'm excited about that i punch you for free bro come to cali <laughs> Cali's far, bro. Come to Florida. Ugh. Anywho. Anywho. Guys, it's been fun. I'll catch you later. Sticky Florida. Stanky swamp ass Florida, bro. We got we got that swamp ass weather. We're known for that. Bye. Okay, bye. See you guys. Good night. Go to sleep. Everyone rest well. And uh, also hydrate. Okay, bye.